What if that never happened? What if Son of Beast got an RMZ remake? Well, that is exactly what I decided to do in this video. I made a possible design for what could have been Beast's revenge. And let's be fair to ourselves, that is definitely what it would have been called if it ever got created. <laughs> So I decided to split this video up into three different sections, with the third one being the design choices, second one being the build process, and at last we have the cinematics and POV of the coaster. I've also put out a couple of timestamps so that you can skip ahead if you feel like skipping any part, but come on, you, you wouldn't do that, right? Either way, let's get done with this introduction and skip right ahead to the first step, being the design choices. So here we are, in a big old empty plot of land, the only thing that I've added so far is this basic outline of a coaster, definitely something that I could recommend you doing as well before starting your own planet coaster build. The one that I have right here is a rough outline of Son of a Beast and I'll do my very best to stay within them just to make the coaster a bit more recognizable. So now onto the special design choices that I talk so much about. Well the first one is to make the drop taller, steeper and add a twist like the one on Iron Rattler's drop. I'm also thinking about adding a steel truss, but I'll have to wait a bit until the build process to see if it would make any sense to add it. The second feature that I wanted to implement comes already in the first turnaround right after the drop. It would feel a bit basic to just leave it be, so I decided I wanted some sort of special element. Right now I'm leaning towards making an outer bank, but once again I'll have to see what fits the best while actually building the coaster. The third and the feature that I think will make this coaster instantly recognizable is of course a massive vertical loop. It is what I think made the Son of Beast so infamous and still to this day nothing has really even come close to the same level of insaneness as that one did. So that was all of the major features that I immediately thought of implementing, but I'm sure that some more ideas will come up while building this coaster, which is the next step on our list. So hopefully you enjoyed that quick little time lapse and we'll surely continue on to the next step which is the cinematics and POV of this build. This is something that I feel really proud to present, it has some of the coolest elements that I think I've ever added to a coaster, everything from the smoothness which you will see shortly to the custom support just turned out great, although I wouldn't really disagree with you if you think some parts look a bit excessive. But overall I feel like this is one of my better designs and if you've seen any of my previous coasters then you can probably tell that this one is way better. Yeah, isn't it crazy how it always turns out great when you copy Elias right off? Either way, looking from an RMC remake standpoint, I feel like I did a pretty decent job. It is obviously hard for me to determine how well I did, but from my criteria, I think that I succeeded in this challenge. It is very recognizable both from the way it looks and that it is a major record-breaking coaster just like Son of Beast when it first opened up. I feel like this design does it more than enough justice, but once again, it's hard for me to determine how well I did, so please leave a comment about your thoughts on this design, did I do a good job or is there anything that you would change? But with all of that said, let's get to the cinematics and POV of Beast's Revenge.
Hi, hope you enjoyed that video, I decided to try something a bit different this time both with the editing and overall style of the video. Personally I really enjoyed making it, but I obviously want to hear your opinion. What did you think about it? Please leave a comment down below and once you're there you could also leave a like on the video, I would highly appreciate it. But with all of that said, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you again next time.